Hey guys, it's the Dirt Bike Girl, and if you don't know, my name is Jessie, and we need to have a talk. There's been something happening with me recently, and I think it's important you guys know about it, because I think it affects everyone. And I have not been happy riding lately. I have been in my head, I have not felt like I can do anything right, I don't feel like I'm progressing, I am getting frustrated and upset, and I'm not enjoying it. I'm training too much. I found myself this week not wanting to ride at all. And every time somebody comes out, they've got some tips or tricks or something. And I, guys, I appreciate all of the advice. I really do. But every time somebody this week would come up to me with some new advice, I'd find myself just big exhale, like, just not even wanting to get on the bike, because once I get on, I've got to try this and do this and, uh, and it's getting overwhelming. <laughs> this sport isn't supposed to be, no sport is supposed to be like this. It's supposed to be fun, and you're supposed to be enjoying it, and I wasn't. I was not. So I forgot. I forgot to enjoy it. Guys, when you're getting to that point, and I got to that point, and then I decided to take a step back. No more advice from anybody t yesterday. I just wanted to go out and ride and have fun. And I decided I was going to ride a different bike. Mine was getting worked on anyways. So I am on the 200, which was the first two-stroke my dad brought home. When I first got on it, I had never been on a tall bike before, except for someone holding it up for me and then grabbing it. Um, and it I'd never been on a two-stroke before, so when it first came home, it scared me. But I thought I'd give it a try again, and I loved it. I had a great time, and I just went out and rode. I went and got some kids together. I'll have some video of that later this week. And just had a good time enjoying myself and not training for the day and not thinking about it and just riding by feel and taking a moment back for myself and I think it's important that we incorporate that into our riding all the time because if it's not fun then what are we doing this for and I learned a hard lesson this week, you know, that sometimes you got to tell people, all right, stop, let me do it. I appreciate the advice, but I need to take a step back. And I did just that. And guess what, guys? I figured something out. I did. And I'll show you at the end of the video what I figured out. But let's get back to, to this. On top of training all the time, I'm trying to dial my suspension in, and of course that's not quite right yet. And it's hard to figure out for someone who's my weight, I don't have any upper body strength, and we're having some trouble with that. So that's also making me frustrated. But it was good just to get on a bike and have a good time again. And I wanna remind all of you out there to take a step back sometimes and especially you parents out there who are helping your kids achieve their goals and racing <clears throat> remember to let them have a day off to go play with their friends and have a good time because in that playtime is when they figure out some stuff and I was playing with some of the kids today um, and quite a few of them figured out how to wheelie. We had one wheelie on the trials bike, another one wheelie on their bike. So, this was just all of us playing around, you know? Let your kids have a break from training all the time. Let yourself have a break from training all the time. It's important for your mental health. And if you're not mentally there, you're definitely not there riding. Oh yeah, guys, I took my seat off of, you guys saw me riding around, I took the seat off the 200 so I could reach the ground when I was stopping if I needed to stop. And I, uh, 
So that's... Ah, I don't care what you guys think anyways. I'm gonna do me from now on. And I do appreciate all the advice. And it has brought me a long way. But sometimes... Sometimes you just need a ride. And I... <laughs> that, that, I was having a lot of fun on this 200. I enjoyed the power. And I'm glad that we have this bike for me to jump on and enjoy. And it won't be going anywhere. I also hopped onto a 300. Oh, wow. I love that bike. The 300 was great. Oh, it was a Husky. It had the TPI. It was so smooth. Oh, the power was wonderful. I loved it. Until the moment I had to pick it up. So guys, if you're small like me, I know, I know I need a little more power, and I understand why everybody loves the 300, but if I had to pick up that bike all day long in the woods, I know it's only an extra 20 pounds, but it feels like 50 pounds, I would not have been happy. So I'm glad I have the bike I have. If you take anything away today, it's that you need to still be having fun on your bike. Take a break for yourselves and go out and ride with some kids, man. I had the best time riding with the kids. Anyways, that's my story. That's where I'm at right now. And because I was out just playing around, I finally figured out how to do a wheelie. Let's watch. Okay. Alright, so I did it a couple times, and then I got out the the video, so I could see what I was doing. Sorry, Roger, I'm still doing that little bounce, but it helps me. Here it comes. Guys, always remember to have fun. And if you're having a bad day, remember it's one up and the rest is down. And you will achieve your goals. Thanks, guys. See you next time.